Hey guys, this is Naren Zaid with the Hammer Bros, and I wanted to bring you a book review. And today we are reviewing the uh, last of the Gotrick and Felix books, Slayer. So, the book is obviously, this is obviously going to contain spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers, please turn off the video. So, my initial thoughts were I was disappointed, but as I've thought about it and digested it all, I have really come around, and it wasn't as bad as I originally thought. The book leaves off where exactly where Kinslayer left off, and Gotrick has now made an oath to bring Felix back to Altdorf, where he can be with the little one, Cat. So the book has a similar feel to Kinslayer. However, there are elements from the old Gotrick and Felix books that make their way into this and make it feel more appropriate. There's some of the humor, and then there's a good part of the camaraderie between Gatrick and Felix that we that we'd grown to love throughout all the other books. My biggest issue, however, is the addition of all of these characters that don't seem to play a large part in the story. Gustav Jaeger is completely pointless. He serves no purpose in the book whatsoever. Uh, Morzana, the sorceress from, I believe, Temple of the Serpent Queen shows up to make some prophecies that are mostly irrelevant and then is killed by Malachi. Malachi shows up and that's appreciated. I don't have any complaints there. He's one of one of my favorite characters and I think everyone, you know, loves that crazy dwarf, so he's an excellent addition. And then Gatrick's new remember is just he exists only to die arbitrarily to Bellicor and then nothing else. I don't know what other purpose he served besides simply existing. So that was also very disappointing. Uh, they make mention of every Gotrick and Felix book in this uh, book. There's mentions of Thanquil, the uh, twin chaos sorcerers, the dragon. Uh, you know, there's there's a mention at least of of something from every book, and it's it's you know it's excellent to relive those memories and to have that um, to have those things mentioned and paid homage to. The the ending, however, was not what I had entirely expected. I this was one of the things I had considered. However, I didn't like it as my my favorite ending. So essentially, Bellicor is trying to become the fifth chaos god. He is thwarted by Gatrick and Felix. However, it's far less... It almost feels like it was a, a jump the shark moment when after facing down Grimnir in his ancient temple above the clouds, Gatrick is killed by Grimnir and then restored to life by Grimnir and then given the second one of Grimnir's axes. And, he is ha and Gatrick is hailed as Grimnir's true heir, which I believe means is the most badass of all slayers. So, uh, Gautrick goes into the Chaos Realm with Felix, and they do battle with a whole bunch of demons, some extra chaos, some greater demons, and in the end, they defeat them. Uh, but Gautrick goes into the Chaos Realms and is meets with, meets with Grimnir, and is told that his time is done and Grimnir and the other gods will fade and there's other worlds that need protecting and Gatrick now needs to stand vigil over the the chaos realm and Gatrick turns to Felix and tells him to remember him and then Felix wakes up back in the temple and Gatrick's gone and Felix kind of write, begins to write down the adventure that they had and it's just very it's very strange in that Felix kind of gets left behind. Gatrick is killed by Grimnir, who is now, I guess, a kinslayer, which is, to my understanding, in dwarf culture, one of the worst things you can be. And then Felix's ending is he dies in a temple. Uh, I mean, that's really it, unless... It, it makes mention that he hears voices as he's writing, but... Let's say they're Malachi and Gustav. We don't know what happens to them. I mean, we know the end times happen. But it would have been good to just, you know, to get Felix's, just get a bunch of his feelings, you know, uh, like how he how he feels now that the world is ending and he's not going to get to see Kat or Ulrika and, you know, just, you know, just like a, 
a, a highlight reel of the memories that he had, you know, would have been just really, you know, I think it would have really drove it home. Like, you know, uh, to let the readers relive, even in small bits, just the saga of Godric and Felix. So I think that that was a bit of a missed opportunity. And I think I have to imagine Godric is going to be the next, one of the next dwarf gods in the next book. I mean, he, Grimnir's gone now, right? And Godric took his place and is literally wielding his weapons. It seems as though that's what they're setting up. So I love Godric and Felix, so I'm really hoping that that's the case. But I find it, it it's, it's unfortunate that I feel like Felix gets left behind and he's not... He's not guarding the Slayer's back, and that's always been his role, you know? He would take up that position and, you know, make sure that the killing machine that is Gotcha could keep rolling. So it felt somewhat incomplete. I think I think the writer of this book was more concerned about telling his story from the past couple books, you know, including the sorcerers from the Serpent Queen and all that, and it was less about ending the series of Gotcha and Felix like it was intended to be and how it was supposed to feel. Uh, I was down. I was down that the Slayer did not achieve his doom. In a more, I guess, getting killed by Grimnir is one of the most intense Slayer dooms. But it it didn't feel it didn't it didn't seem right. I didn't. It wasn't a true doom. He came back, and you know, it makes it makes a dwarf god a kin Slayer. So I wasn't a huge fan of that. I I would have much rather just had him go into the Chaos Realm and fight if he's not going to ever meet his slayer oath or you know he goes in and he gets the axes and Grimnir tells him you know you're gonna die and what greater doom is there than to die in the chaos realms fighting against unnumbered foes of greater demons and such so it was certainly a strange not a strange ending but it was certainly an ending and it it needed to end but I, I had hoped that it would end a little bit differently but like I said originally I was very disappointed but how do you end a series like Gotcha and Felix? You know, it's been going on for 20 years or so, I believe. And is there really a good way to end a series at that point? So at the end, I give it about probably like a 6.5 out of 10. I, if you've read the other books, I absolutely recommend you read it. You, you have to. You have to see how the saga ends. So thank you guys for listening and have a good one.